Thus far, we've dealt only with tables to evaluate this case. We built into OMIM Explorer a novel interface that allows users to visually explore their data on a deeper integrative level and to exercise their medical judgment to curate the differential. We call this interface the radar map, and it should be immediately apparent why when I move on to the next step, which is step five, explore differential. The radar map is a visual representation of the differential diagnosis, overlaid with available data corresponding to input variants. This map places the phenotype query at its center, this triangle here, and puts the top disease matches of the differential, these circles, at distances from the center. These radial distances correspond exactly to disease similarities to the query, while the circumferential distances correspond roughly to the disease similarities to each other. The disease points are labeled with their query match ranks, colored by the highest pathogenicity of input variants in any causal link gene, and sized by the rarest frequencies of those variants in the exact consortium database. Red points correspond to the most harmful variants, and large points correspond to the rarest. The display of ranks can be toggled with this checkbox, and the color and size can be made to correspond to only query match scores with this checkbox. By default, only the top 20 matches are displayed, but this can be adjusted in settings and radar. As we can see, the point corresponding to Kleefstra is the closest to the central phenotype query and is a large red circle labeled with the match rank of one. There are a few features to note here. One, hovering over any point brings up detailed phenotype and genotype information about that disease. Clicking on that point selects the disease and keeps that data in place. Two, clicking on the differential tab displays overlap information for the click disease with respect to the phenotype query. And three, once a disease is clicked, it can be excluded from the differential diagnosis. For example, type 2a distal arthrogryposis here has neither autism nor macroglossia in common with the phenotype query, which is part of the reason it's not that good of a match. It is also causally linked to a gene with a relatively harmless input variant as indicated by the blue coloring. This variant is also less rare than that of the input Kleefstra syndrome variant, as indicated by its smaller size. With this information, we can quickly exclude the disease from the differential by clicking the Exclusion toggle button. Notice that the ranks of differential diseases with poorer query matches improved when I excluded type 2a distal arthrogryposis. This curation also propagates to the variant prioritization level. We see in the OMIM tab that the gene known to contain variants causing type 2a distal arthrogryposis is MYH3. When the disease is included, MYH3 is included in the variant prioritization table after MAN2B1. But when the disease is excluded, MYH3 is also excluded from the table.